the new chapter three of the tv anime six season retrospective case file is out that was a mouthful but basically special case file number two and if you go to chapter three that is now out where you are able to get another copy of redestro and most people including myself don't have this redestro past like level 70 so this is actually really nice we're going to be able to get another copy of redestro we're going to be able to get some orbs for him and we're going to be able to get free pieces for this character to finally be able to work on getting him leveled up as an SR character. And being that there are only two Redestros in the game, this one actually is still kind of cool and feels good to work on and get built up. It's been a while since we've actually gotten like what I would argue is a useful character from one of these case files because most of the other characters in the previous case files we already had up to 110 or you know wherever we needed them to be for SR characters. Along with the Redestro pieces and a copy of Destro. We're going to be getting this SR memory here along the way. The SR memory is called Team Lurkers and it increases max HP by 15%, also increases character's power by 15% when equipped by a pro hero. Not the craziest, not the worst memory. And then we're also going to be getting, if you go all the way to the end and you beat the EX stage, you're going to be getting some Gran Torino pieces and it looks like some Mina pieces as well. So if you didn't have those characters finished, that'll be nice. And then of course, hero gems at the end of this. The one thing I wish it gave as you were going through the case files is like hero gems as rewards so you do get some like advanced leveling items and of course the sr memory but ah man the rewards could be a little bit better like even just five hero gems along the way for each step would be very very nice so i'm going to show you guys just the boss fight one so like this stage right here is a boss fight one i'm going to skip through like stage three and four i'm not going to make you guys sit through those i'm not going to make you sit through the story but if you need help on the boss fights hopefully this will give you the help you need Granted, none of the case file stages are typically all that difficult if you've been playing the game for a little bit. Mainly, they're difficult for newer players, so if you're a newer player, you might have to work around, you know, the characters a little bit that I show because you may not have all the characters that I show. Just keep that in mind. So with that said, uh, we're going to go into the first boss fight. You guys won't see this first fight right here. Okay, we are up to the boss fight. We get Redestroized Reward right here. Some Speed Jelly, like, okay, Reward's not the craziest thing. Uh, increasing power of allies is probably better for most people in this case, so Night Eye is the better one to go for. Uh, decreasing skill impact and their speed doesn't really make that big of a difference. As for character strategy info, you want to look at the character. It is a strength character, so uh, agile type characters are going to be very useful for you. As it turns out, I have an all agile team right here. You don't have to use these characters. Momo's actually a, like a garbage character the memories i have aren't the best these are just auto filled characters and uh, you know it is nice to use these characters once in a while because how often do i really get to use my dx level 130 sero like almost never so it feels good to use these characters even though they're not the strongest so i think it'll go relatively okay though because these bosses are typically not too hard all right, so muscular, what they need to do with case files, honestly, just add like a second difficulty to it. That would be fantastic, where you get some like hero gems for completing it on a harder difficulty. That'd be lit. I said the same thing for USJ though, but they should make USJ infinitely scaling, like it, make it go to four, like one million. I don't know. For whatever reason, Yayurozu doesn't use her skill right there uh, when you have it on auto. It's so weird. It's really, really weird. Alright, Todoroki got his plus ultra at least 72,000. Not bad, actually. Good damage. I don't get to use this Todoroki too often, so it's always good to see him kind of pop off a little bit. All of our cooldowns are garbage, though. Alright, uh, we might kill right here? Pretty dang close. The last stand saved him. Hopefully the normal skill. Yep, the normal skill, so there we go. Not too bad. Not too bad for a boss fight. Team actually did fairly well. Cooldowns are bad. You would need a like I could have put the lively festival cooldown memory on one of those characters, and it probably would have helped a little bit. But there is a copy of Redestro. We take that. That is a DX copy. That is also free stars for anyone that does not know that. Uh, Twenty free stars for an SR character. So I, I believe it gives you stars. Actually, for getting that copy, it should. Unless I'm wrong. I might be. Cr no, you get it from the. You claim it from the gift box, and it gives you stars. I'm like. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I believe it goes to your gift box. Let me double check. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it goes to your gift box and it gives you stars. Yeah, I'm not crazy. Okay, so you claim it. There you go. 20 stars. Yes. Okay, just for anybody that may have been wondering if you get stars from it. So it is actually useful uh, to get these SR characters because A, you're able to work on the SRs. B, 
it gives you the stars. So I'm going to skip through stages three and four here, and we will be on stage five next for the next box boss fight. Okay, next up, we got the stage five. Like I mentioned before, we're going to be taking on Lady Nagant, and we get that memory as a reward and SR orb, which is like, I have so many of these SR orbs just sitting in my box that are completely useless. Uh, we're going to go ahead and pick our rocket because I don't really care about decreasing anything for the enemy team. So you'll have one that increases your own stuff, one that decreases their stuff. Typically, pick the ones that increase like your skill impact and stuff like that increasing speed doesn't really mean a whole lot to me in this particular mode but whatever like i don't know the, the guests aren't very very useful 369,000 uh health for lady nagant will shred her absolutely shred her it gives skill impact up to people as well as speed up not that we needed it but 79,000. dang mirko okay nice And she is half dead, and hopefully this next turn we should kill her with- Oh, maybe not. As we got- Oh, we have Bullseye though, so evasion doesn't matter. Nice. Nah, if if Mirko had her plus ultra, we would have killed right there. Unfortunately, she didn't. Uh, Deku claps right here? Oh, 10,000 health left. Okay. She's so close to dead. And dead there we go okay achieved that boss fight's not too hard but uh keep in mind you're gonna want to get it done somewhat quickly pick the characters you need if you need to get through it quickly because th she does have the pierce and she could end up potentially killing one of your characters so just keep that in mind next up we will have what stage is the next boss fight stage nine what a ways away and then we have 10 and then we have the ex stage so all those will come together so i'm gonna get through these next few stages here and we'll reconvene on stage nine on stage nine we get to fight bakugo we get 80 more pieces for redestro which is nice and then bakugo has uraraka and ida at his side i do think it'll be still a relatively easy fight if i'm <laughs> being honest but hopefully it'll give us a little bit of a challenge you should ideally run red characters here but we're just going to go with what it gives us because honestly fantasy bakugo claps will be fine yellow aizawa like these are all still very decent characters the only one who's kind of arguably like oh uh, no I, I was gonna say falling off but no nah, rock hasn't fallen off any more than aizawa has so i, I you know they're all pretty decent oh i was a little bit worried about the stun but we're i think we're okay oh it's a two turn stun too that's so annoying okay that's that's not great evasion that did a lot that's good all right, two of them get to evade at least. And they're not really going after uh, Aizawa, so that's fine. And then we do have a healer, so realistically, we're good. Bakugo does a ton here. Oh my gosh, yeah, just destroys. Then more healing and defense down, so yeah, we're, we're golden. We actually got this so easy. Nice crit. All right, and I think we can end this turn with the normals? Yeah, we should be able to. Double attack in one turn. Nice. Nice Bakugo. Love it. They tried to make it a tiny bit harder. A tiny bit harder, but it's really not that hard. So, there we go. The EX stage is usually the one that, that is a little bit more difficult, so we'll see when we get there. But that was stage 9. That was the boss fight there. It's going to give us a story. I don't care about the story because it's a recap of the anime we literally just watched. So, we're going to go ahead and we're going to skip... We'll skip the story. And we're going to take on Stain here. Ooh, okay. So you get a 90 pieces for Redestro. You get a hero base poster, which is like, oh, okay. But then you get the uh, level up tonics and level up bars as well. So 95 for level on this character. I don't think Stain is going to be all that difficult to fight, but we'll, we'll see how he is. We need a UR Stain in the game. That's something that just still has not come to the game yet. We're all still waiting on. This team is going to absolutely destroy Stain, though. We got Monoma to draw aggro. We got... Tokuyami with Pierce, and we got Bakugo with Buff Block. Like, yeah, he's done. He is finished. What's he gonna do? Nothing. He's gonna do nothing. All right, we'll go ahead and buff our allies here. Oh, actually, I picked the debuff character. Apparently, my bad. Ooh, fifty-three thousand damage from Tokuyami. Beautiful. 
All right, we got all of our plus ultras coming up here. He is going to be hurting after this one. 53,000, power down, draw aggro. 99,000. 72,000. And he's burning. Dude, the normals from Tokoyami, insane. He dies this turn, easy. Yeah, really easy fight. These characters actually just decimated Stain. He didn't get to do anything. He did nothing. He was not a challenge whatsoever. They have not made these case files uh, hard enough to keep up with the release of the newer characters. The char newer characters just absolutely shred case files. You have to use the older ones to make it even somewhat of a challenge. All right, so EX stage, you get these rewards here. They're not guaranteed to drop. I want to be very clear about that. It could take multiple times of doing this before they drop. So you might, you'll see some of them drop, but you might not see them right away. You do have actually two copies of Redestro available here, so that's nice. Uh, we have a coat rack with someone's shirt on it for the hero base. We have a silver ticket, two silver tickets actually available, uh, a couple of pieces, and yeah, looks good. EX stage is taking on Stain. If he's anything like the stage we just took on, he's not going to be very hard. He has five levels higher, so I guess that's supposed to make him more difficult. We'll see. Um, we'll run Bakugo again. Who do we have? So we're taking on a red character, right? Maybe I should actually... Maybe I should actually change my team a, a little bit. Let's, let's go with Team 6 here. And we're going to switch out the... Um, Sue... I guess we can run Steampunk Bakugo. I mean, I don't really have a ton of times where I get to use him. And then let's switch out this memory on Uraraka for the festival memory, and this looks solid. Okay, so we should do some pretty good damage here. Hopefully, hopefully it'll be good damage. 904,000 health, we're just gonna let it run on auto once again. We'll use the friend Bakugo. Uh, he will debuff, stay in there. We have AoE characters, which is kind of funny, but I mean, it's fine. We don't need AoE characters, obviously. The amount of healing we have will be fine. Endeavor's still a goat. I love Endeavor. He's so good. All right, all of our plus ultras. This gives us evasion. 92,000 and buff block. 75,000 without a crit. If it was a crit, it'd probably be 99. Damage looking real good. I think we, I think we'll be able to finish it next turn or pretty dang close. No, we should be able to finish it this turn because of the burn, actually. That burn helped us out a lot right there. It was like a 40,000 damage burn. I don't know if you guys saw that. That was crazy. Nobody dies. Okay, we're good. And there we go. Stain is dead. So it is cleared with uh, all the conditions met. We are now able to skip, right? And you don't have to clear it without anybody dying. You just have to clear it in general and you'll be able to skip in the future. But all we got right there, all we got was a speed jelly. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, so none of the rewards were gotten right there. I do have a single try left for today. So I can use that try to skip right here. See if we get anything. But if not, then I don't recommend wasting hero gems to do your stuff. Because if you go up here and you try to refresh your tries, it will cost you hero gems. And that's kind of pointless when you only get like a few hero gems from this. So you just want to every day when you log in, go into the EX stage, use your skip tickets and skip on the EX stage and see what rewards you get for the day. It might take you like a week to get all these rewards, but eventually you'll get them. I promise you. So that is the new case file and the new chapter. If you guys enjoyed the video, please consider going down there, hitting that like button, hitting that subscribe button. And thank you guys so much for watching and supporting the channel. Peace.